So far, we've looked at creating an account schedule and populating its lines. We can make use of column layouts to specify what columns we want to include in the report. On the account schedule page, we'll go to the account schedule that we've set up earlier, which is now the revenue one. And from the ribbon, we can go to process, edit column layout setup. The demo company has a number of layouts available, but we'll look at creating a new one. So to do this, we just drill in to get to this list and we can select new to create a new one. And we'll label this one compare for comparisons. We can hit OK to open this up. So from this page, we can start adding in uh, rows to populate our columns. So here we'll define which columns we'd like to see. And on this page, each row, each individual row defines a column that will be visible on the account schedule. We can define a column number for each row. This is a unique identifier for our columns, and we'll label this one C100 and increment by 100 for each next line that we create. The reasoning behind this is that, much like with the account schedule lines, we can utilize these column numbers in formula. The header of this column will be current month, and that's what will be visible on the account schedule as well. And that's the data we intend for this column. We can then select our column type. I'll make use of net change here, though there are the other options available, similar to what we've seen in the account schedule. We can set up column layouts to compare with budgets as well. Um, but for this particular column, we'll use entries and we'll use net amount in the amount type, though we can also select credit or debits. The remaining fields, um, we can sp specify dimensions to filter on or enter formulas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We can see how that uh, plays out as we further go further along the line. In our second column, our second row for our second column, we'll be creating a column for the previous month. We'll use this column to compare with our current month column, and we'll be able to compare what the differences are. Again, we'll enter our column number first, which will be C200. The header will be last month. Our next two fields are the same. And we want to compare this with another period. So to achieve this, um, we can enter a comparison date formula, or though it's not visible immediately at this moment, I can personalize to add this in. A comparison period formula as well as other dimension related fields that are available for us to pull through. With the comparison period formula, the field refers to periods that we have set up in our accounting periods area of Business Central. This means that we can make use of the letter P in our formula re referring to periods that we've created. So um, this is particularly useful if we're using periods that are in a different structure to our standard calendar. We also have our comparison date formula, which we can use uh, standard date details for like DM and W for day, month and week. For this column, as we're comparing directly with the previous month, we can enter a negative one M into the comparison date formula field. This formula will later be applied to the date filter that we will use with our account schedule, and we'll see how that works later. We can enter another line to specify the difference between the previous two fields. The column number here will be C300. The header will be difference. The column type this time will switch to formula. The next two fields are fine staying as they are. And now this time in the formula field, we'll be specifying the formula we want to use. And in this case, as we're looking at the difference, we're comparing C100 minus, sorry, C200, and the result of that will be what's displayed in our C300 field for difference. We'd also like to compare with budgets. So here we'll enter C400 as it's the next line, budget here. Our column type will stay as net change. Our ledger entry type this time will switch to budget entries, and that should be all we need for this line. And my last column, it would C500, will be the budget difference. We'll set this column type to formula as well. 
we'll leave this as entries and the amount type as net amount. And here, my formula will be C100 minus C400. With this done, the column layout is complete and we can use this with our account schedule. So let's go back to our account schedules and we'll populate this now with our compare default column layout. And from here, we can go to process and overview and we open the account schedule overview for this particular one. We're able to select the name of what we're looking at, adjust the column layout and our view by criteria by month, week, day, etc. With this demo company, I have a date range that can supply data and we can use this to compare the figures that are presented in this account schedule. And we can see I've got the current amount figure, we've got the last amount figure, we've got our differences, our budget and our budget differences. All of the columns we set up in our column layout are now reflected in our account schedule overview, ready for us to review.